All right, there we are. We're recording. Awesome. Okay, so you guys are going to come in here to see your assignment. Okay, three region superhero. If you look at that, a lot of you will have it open like this. I will move it this week when I get to fixing canvas and move it to the bottom. But for right now, go ahead and close your three region superheroes. We're done. You've taken both tests. We should be done with that module. And now we're on to European exploration and interaction. Okay. And so what we have here is our assignment that we just did, which is the reading where you highlighted your information. Right. Oh, what's my camera looking at? We should fix that for sure. There we go. All right. Okay. Let's try that again. Let's see. That is so fun. We're looking at the back of David's head, which David super loves. Right, David? Yeah. Okay. There we go. All right. That's better. Okay. So you should have done this reading where you're highlighting your information. And for those of you that are online, I will post that. Okay. The assignment you're going to do though, is the exploration impact essay. So you're going to click on that one. Okay. You're going to link to your assignment. Okay. You're going to link to your assignment and it's going to have you open it up and you're going to end up with this. Okay. What were the reasons for exploration and what was the impact on Native American life? And that is the question you're going to answer for your essay today. Okay. So if you have that open, just leave it there for a second. And then I want all eyes up front. So turn your computers around again. Okay. And I'm going to shut this down. Okay. Now we're going to go over, because it's been a while since we talked about my good friend, Bob, that helps us with writing, right? You're going to just love Bob by the end of the year. So let's draw him again. Okay. We've got him right here. He has his little brain like my little kids always used to draw. So what's the very first thing we put into a paragraph? Yeah. It's our topic. So our little brain is going to be our topic. Okay. What is this part equal? in a paragraph. Julie, this is the body. And then when we finish our paragraph, so just putting on Bob's shoes, we have what, Jordan? The conclusion. Okay. Now the format you're going to learn with your teachers is called the races format. And if you remember, I gave you the yellow cheat sheet a while ago. If you've lost it, I have plenty of copies. I'll give you another one. Okay, so let's go over what races stands for. Okay, so we have our first two letters, which are R and A. Does anybody remember what those mean? Anybody? In the races format, what's the, what do these stand for? Yeah, restate. And then after we restate the question, what do we do? First, we're going to answer it. We're just going to answer. Okay, restate question, and then we're going to answer it. And you're going to use these colors when you write today. Okay, so then we've got to do our C. Does anyone remember what the C stands for? Yeah, site evidence. Okay. Okay, then we cite our evidence. Then we have our E, which is our... Ever? Yeah. What's our E, Cruz? No. No. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Explain and elaborate. And then at the end, we have S. And what's that stand for? Yeah. Summarize. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is our conclusion. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know why that's doing that. Okay, that's our conclusion. And this right here is our topic sentence. Jeez. I'm going to turn that off. Okay. All right, so that's our topic. So I'll just talk loud. So this is how you're going to write it. You're going to color code your paragraphs today. Okay. Um. I hear that your English teachers haven't started this format with you yet. That's okay. They will. And this is the format. So this paper that I actually have came from the ninth grade teachers. OK, 
Okay. But all of the English teachers use this and it's super important that you understand this format because this is what they are going to require from you. So when you get taught in English, you guys should be like, Psh, I already know that Miss Mac taught me. Okay. But we're going to practice it all year long. Okay. These two here, I want you to keep really simple and direct and to the point. Okay, so our first paragraph we're going to write, and we're going to do a practice one here together. You cannot use my quote. Whatever quote I put up here, you can't use. Okay, so we're going to restate and answer the question. The question is, why did they explore? Why did people explore? So let's restate and answer. Okay, what do we think we can write? People did what? We need to restate. Okay, so people, but we're going back to restating our question. So our question is, why did they explore? People explored so they could hunt. Okay, so they could hunt for sport. Okay, that's our topic sentence. Why did they explore? People explored. That's our restate our answer is so they could hunt for sport okay so what evidence can we use who's got an evidence from our paper we can use i'm going to grab my paper what do you got jordan uh, uh, okay while he's yeah go ahead Okay, the hunters from the eats killed mostly for sport. So we're going to look right here where it says cite evidence on our paper, and it has sentence starters for you. Okay, so you could say according to the text, the article states on page, according to the author. So which one do we want to use? Should we do according to the text? Okay, now we're going to do this in red. According to the text. Okay, and then where was it? It was yeah in the middle. Okay, the hunters took me a second. Sorry, the hunters from the east. Killed mostly for sport. That's my quote. Got my quotation marks in there. I've got it in red. It's a direct quote. I used my cheat from the paper that says according to the text, right? And I've got it in there. So now what do I have to do? I've restated and answered. I've cited my evidence. Now what do I have to do? I need to explain it so or elaborate. So what do I say here? How do I elaborate on this quote? This, so let's go to our elaborate. You can say this shows, this proves, this makes me think, this explains, it means. What would you want to say here, Jordan? Okay. Okay, so this explains that, what are we trying to talk about? That people? Hunters came just for fun, is that what you said? Okay. Okay, now we can expand on that. Okay, you can say, um, from our knowledge of this, what do we understand? We understand that they would do what? They would ride the train and then they would, okay. Okay, hunters would ride trains and shoot out of windows. Okay, so hunters would ride trains and shoot out of windows. So now we've explained and we've elaborated. We've given more information. We've made it clear what this means. Now what do we have to do? 
sum it up. How can we sum it up? Let's go to our cheat sheet, right? Okay. So you could say, therefore, in conclusion, that's why, all in all, in summary, for these reasons. What do we want to say? Sarah, you got one? Okay. In conclusion, now we go back up. What was our question again? They came for what? In conclusion? Hunters came for sport. And it's as simple as that. We don't need to add more. We're not elaborating. We're just summarizing it. It's as simple as that. Does that make sense? Okay. So you today have two paragraphs you're writing. One is just like this. Why did they come exploring? Except you can't use this, right? Why did they come exploring? The other one was, what was the impact? right, on the Native Americans. So as you're looking at this, you have read why they came and you have impacts. What was the impact? So here, why they came to hunt and trap. Here, they came for land. Here, they came and they did trade. They were looking for gold and silver and to teach people religion, right? They also got slaves in this paragraph. Okay, here they came to hunt for sport, which we did, so you can't do it. And here they came for the fur trade, right? So there's a whole bunch of reasons you can pick. You only need to pick one, okay? Impact on Native Americans, there's a lot, right? Um, they had new tools that they used, right? They had diseases that killed them off. You could do a positive one. New tools, that's going to be awesome. Diseases, not so awesome, right? Taking his slaves, not so awesome, okay? Um, all their buffalo being killed off, not cool, right? And then also people setting up trading posts ruined their land, right? So there's lots of different reasons you can choose from. Pick one and write a paragraph about it. So you have two paragraphs that you're going to write. What I found is this, this takes the majority of the rest of the period. So you won't be able to really get on to other things. It'll take you that long. And I don't want you to turn it in until I have seen it. And I need it to be in these colors so that at a glance, I can see that you're at least trying. Once I see that you're at least trying, then I will make sure that what you're writing makes sense. Okay. But I will walk around to everybody. You're going to write, let's write it down. I think that's a good idea. Okay. So why exploration? Okay. And then impact on Native Americans. I think that's a great question. We'll make that clear right here. Those are your two paragraphs. Okay. Those are your two paragraphs. Okay. What other questions do we have? This is a little tricky, but I want you to just break it down. Okay, what else do we want to know? Write them right on that page, right underneath all that other stuff that's on that page. Good question. What else do we have? We think we want to try, Haley? How do you, oh, so you just highlight them. So that's a good question. You highlight your words and then you pick this A, lets you pick color. Okay, the A lets you pick color. If you highlight it, it's really hard for me to read. I'd rather you just change the color of the letters. Okay, so that A lets you pick what color you want your things to be. Okay, good questions. What else do we have? We want to try? Okay, so the rest of the period will be you trying. Start with restating the question, right? People explored. Native Americans were impacted. And then tell me the why. So there's two parts. You restate the question, then you answer it. Yes. Okay. We good? Okay. I'm going to turn off my recording. I appreciate you letting me record you guys today. You're awesome. Let's get started on this. Oh, perfect. It works.